nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the music sooner or later. our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. Trapped in here, more presently, it seemed I was too. which had to be in that booth. <clears throat> Decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. Shame to let that RPG go to waste.
this nice. The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking. Drunk it, then blown my head off. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward. Nothing changes. Bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with.
control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. Prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. Rising. That meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. I saw the elevator doors were open. fate lay on the other side of those doors. There was no point in putting it off any longer.
of more cops than cholesterol and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail, but it was too late for that now. AUP. Those were the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. And what was this? Had the Brazilian cops tipped them off about the money? If I didn't hurry, Becker would be lost. I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was. 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. The bastards had me locked in. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. I'd seen enough. It was time to bring this nightmare to an end. Nice to see you. Vai pra casa, gringo de merda. 
I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. Then you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. show for it. It felt like I was detaching, that maybe this was revenge for something else, something buried deep in the past. Everyone who'd meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I'd found myself alone, locked on a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best. flesh and sold it on the black market. Now I was coming for mine. Vamos, 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 vamos
acabar com essa merda agora. Vamos indo. Se estiver na mesa, rapaziada, Tira, bom trabalho. Só tô esperando a confirmação do outro grupo, mas o gringo já deve estar tá morto agora. Senhor, ele não parece estar tá morto. Puta puta, pelo amor puta. de Deus. Love to interfere in things you do not understand. Oh, I understand plenty, asshole. How stupid can one man be? I couldn't get a direct shot. I was gonna have to get creative. It was a waste of bullets. His cover was too good. You shouldn't have listened to that idiot, uh. Silva! You don't know when you're lost, do you? Those ceiling tiles looked kind of loose. It was worth a shot. Office. I was close to the end of all this, and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> Something funny about dying? <laughs> I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting <clears throat> piece of shit! I know everything! <clears throat> Not everything, my friend. 
Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Victor, I was wondering when you'd reappear out of whatever slimy hole you live in. <laughs> I'd like to just say, Max, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work, for my family, and for cleaning up that horrible mess with the Crasha Preto for us. You know I'm tough on crime. I give you a bonus, but I think you just fritter it away. Becker, take his gun. Toma seu filho da puta! They barred the door. My only hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. God damn it! Okay, Max. Now you check the main terminal. I'm gonna go and look for the Bronco plane by the hangar, okay? Let's do it. You keep an eye out in there. You know Becker's gonna have some guys in there watching out for you. Yep. So, of course, I knew they were looking for me. But the airport was about the only place a fat gringo might blend in. Well, there are hey. sex club. Hey! Hey! Parado aí! My delusions of disguise lasted around two seconds. They were out in force. And they were out for me. But then, I was out for them, too. Every last one of those bastards.
Decker's guys. Him and Victor had a private airport to go with their private army and their private jet. I meant to end this how I'd begun it. Heavily medicated. The doors lead in the direction of the main terminal. There were Ufe all over the airport and civilians were being moved out. Looking at it one way, shutting down the airport for their escape was a weird sort of compliment. But one I didn't need. terminal. I'd keep looking until Victor sent me a postcard from Miami.
like there'd be any trams leaving until the power was on. guys wanting to whack me. Maybe both. charge for a second. At least until we pulled into the station and met more murderous assholes. Son of a bitch! It didn't work out like that. Of course, there'd be a tram full of goons trying to derail me. Slowing down, 
and I'd only just gotten on board. I had to salvage what I could and see what was waiting for me. This was my stop. It had taken me right into the heart of it. Becker's gimps were everywhere, so he and Bronco must be close. The smart move would have been sticking with De Silva and going straight to the hangar, but when was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks, let me walk in the main entrance. I'll put a big shit-eating grin on my face and let these assholes take turns trying to kill me. That's my style, and it's too late in the day to hope for change. Boy, were they throwing numbers at this problem. But then, I'd chosen to be here. I wanted this. Was it redemption? Not really. It was pathetic desperation, and not much else. The further in I got, the more guys I saw. Becker wasn't running a police force. He was running an army. These guys were better trained and better equipped than anyone I'd seen out here. And I'd seen some mean sons of bitches. The mission was screaming suicide, but I didn't give a damn. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. <coughs> there the bastards were, sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. I ain't got no world to go, Becker! Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me! Mate ele! Mate ele agora! Não! Não! Não!
This was it. It was almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. Justice. 